Greetings, heavy metallurgists. My name is Brain Smasher, and it's time for you to join me to talk about Immoral and their new album, War Against All. War Against All is going to be released by Nuclear Blast on May 26th of this year. And it's pretty much the album that you're expecting. Uh, after hearing 2018's Northern Chaos Gods, it was kind of a surprise to hear that Demon Az was back at the helm, being the riff master that he is, but he was gone for 20 years and he couldn't play guitar. And the absence of a bath was noticed by a lot of people uh, who were previous fans of the band. So, a bath is not back, and also, Horg is no longer with the band either. So, it's pretty much just Demon Az uh, doing his thing. Uh, Ice Dale, from a bunch of other enslaved and a bunch of other Norwegian greats, uh, has joined in on bass. I don't know if that's exciting i i i don't know it's it's pretty typical bass playing at this point um new drummer is a young guy he's in uh, he plays in galsverd um does a fantastic job blasts away it's i don't know at this point i feel like the immortal album formula you put in a bunch of ice cubes you put in some monsters you put some riffs in there some blash some ravens and you get an immortal album and it's great at this point, any deviation from the formula of an Immortal album would be weird, wouldn't it? At this point, we're just going to keep getting the same Immortal album over and over and over, and it's good. There's a plethora of icy riffs to come from this formula. Demon Az is probably never going to run out of this kind of style. Um, I'm not sure. I wasn't there some like legalities going on between a bath, Horg and Demon Az, and then like Horg and Demon Az were arguing about the namesake. I'm not really sure whatever went happened with the legalities of that. Honestly, I kind of appreciate that um, those things kind of stayed out of the press. I, I don't want to hear that shit. I just want to hear the music. Um, it sucks when stuff like that happens to great bands, but um, I appreciate that they don't let the drama behind the band kind of ruin their um, appeal for the fans. But, you know, this band is consistent. Immortal has put out pretty decent records. There's a couple of duds, Damned in Black, Sons uh, of Northern Darkness, uh, but this one is pretty good. I feel like we're on a track to keep getting the same good Immortal albums over and over and over again. Uh, it comes out of the gate just blasting right away with the title track. It's pretty good. It Honestly, it sounds like a grindcore track to me. Uh, just 250, 300 BPM kind of drumming. Um, blasting icy riffs all over the place. The typical Demon Az kind of guitar style where you've got one chugging along kind of rhythm guitar and a couple of like big chording harmonies all over the place. Um, the one complaint I have about the album... Um, maybe there's others, but the vocals are really, really, really buried in the mix. Mighty shadow, chaos God, to conquer. And I miss it. It's it's kind of weird. Northern Chaos Gods kind of had this going on where the vocals kind of weren't really at the forefront of the style and like that's something i think a bath really brought to the style of immortal like those songs were anthemic he sang lyrics that you could understand which is kind of rare for black metal and so that like personality trait of the band is kind of gone um especially on this new album the vocals are just really really saturated underneath that guitar tone it's kind of weird um, this is the first album in a long time that immortal has not gone to abyss studios with peter tetgren um, this one is produced by Icedale from the looks of it. Um, a couple other people mastered it and whatnot, but it looks like this is just kind of like an Icedale studio put together a kind of project and it, you know, it sounds fine. I wouldn't say it's much of a departure from the, you know, branded Abyss Studio sound that, uh, kind of became the pillar of the sound of Immortal. 
Um, so it's not that much of a departure from the sound that you know them being. Um, it really sounds just kind of like a boxy sort of amp guitar sound to it. Um, I don't know. There's one thing that I kind of miss about the old style of Immortal, and I mean, this is this could be said for a lot of older black metal bands, is just I feel like they're going into a digital studio and recording music that sounds really slick and polished, and all of the humanity is kind of removed from the overall audio quality of the album. I really can't... This doesn't sound like humans in a room making music. And I get, like, sometimes that's the appeal. We want black metal to be like monsters who are donning guitars and blasting on their drums and whatnot. But this just sounds so much like you just put the ingredients in the black metal factory machine and you cranked out uh, an immortal album. It's super formulaic. It's very predictable. It's exactly what you know it is. Um, Immortal can't fail at this point. They've just got a a formula that's always going to be making the same album over and over and over with. I mean, is it really that different from Northern Chaos Gods? No. But am I going to buy it? Yeah, I'm probably going to get a copy of it. This is one of my favorite bands. This style is just embedded in my blood. I am just a through and through Immortal fan, even though they are a band who have let me down more times than they have not. Uh, So... Go ahead and pick this up. It's pretty good. It is definitely the kind of thing that you're going to want to slam beers and put on with your buddies and do a lot of bit of this kind of stuff, too. There's great riffs. There's fun, stupid harmonies all over the place and blasting drums. It's it's just an immortal album. There's not really much to get worked up about. It's not amazing. Let's just get that out of the way. Of course, the formula of the album is pretty typical. You've got three or four or five pretty fast, blasty, icy songs that are going to get you through to a couple, you know, a little slower song, maybe seven and a half minutes long. It's kind of majestic. It's got some clean guitar intro kind of stuff going on. And then the second to last track, uh, the title track, Immortal, uh, is just a super blasting, icy fest kind of thing. I am immortal. Uh, and then it ends with another majestic kind of song called Blast Yuck My Throne with anthemic, repetitive chorus. You, you, you know what you're getting. At this point, I, I'm really like, I want to go back to the Demonaz album that came out. And there were there was a lot of more like nuanced style in that album. There was some keyboards and a lot more atmosphere to that thing. Um, and I just kind of wish I could take some of the elements of that and put it back in Immortal because I think there's, it's time for, it's, it's time for the immortal template to be rejuvenated with some new something. I don't know what it needs. I don't, I don't know. What do you think the immortal needs at this point? Some more keyboards might be nice. Some acoustic things or something. I don't know. Maybe that would be the downfall of immortal. Maybe everybody just wants the exact same thing out of this band from now on. I don't know. I'm kind of bored with with the template of the band now. This is a fine album. There's really nothing too wrong with it. But, yeah, it just sounds like you put a bunch of the Immortal elements into the Immortal album machine, and you got War Against All. It's it's all typical. You all know what it is. It's okay. So, overall, I don't know. I'm going to give this album, like, a 6 out of 10... If only, you know, I've already (laughs) spoken my part about it. It's fine. Let's keep Immortal going and putting out more albums. But, you know, I would be a lot more enthusiastic about them if they were to try out some new ideas. So what do you think? Did you like the album? What do you think Immortal is going to do from here? Let me know in the comments. And if for some reason you like watching me talk about metal, you are welcome to hit the link down below where you can join my own YouTube channel where I do this all the time. It's great. Subscribe there, and uh, we will see you next time. Have Millergists.
Take care and bye-bye.